This is lesson 18 in Algebra 1, like terms and the addition of like terms. Now, in the last lesson, we talked about terms. And we talked about terms being a set of letters and numbers multiplied together or divided, like that. That would be a term. And adding another term to it and adding another term. So we have three terms there. Like terms means that they are alike. Now, what makes a term alike? What makes a term alike is if the letters are the exact same. If I'm trying to add that to that, I can't do it because I do not have a Z in my second term. So these cannot be added. This is as simple as it goes. So if they gave you a problem like that and said simplify, you would say, it's already simplified, I can't do anything. But if this had a Z on it, and now they're like terms, all you do with like terms is you add or subtract, depending on the sign, the number, and then you put the variables on here. You don't do anything to the variables. Okay? So, not only do the terms have to be alike, but the exponent on the variables have to be alike. Okay, so 3x squared y plus 3xy. Let's make this 13, 13xy. So we have the same letters, so you would think they were like terms, but because this has a 2 on it and this does not, they are not like terms, so you can't combine them. They are left just like they are. But as soon as I put a 2 on here, now I can say 13 plus 3 is 16, and then I tag my letters and everything else on them. Okay, so if I have a problem with... I'm just kind of making these problems up in my head as we go. If we have a problem like um, 2a x squared b cubed, and I'm adding it to 3ax cubed b squared. Now, are those like terms? axb, axb. I have a 2 there, I have a 3 there. They're not like terms. I have a, B, a 3 there, I have a 2 there. Not like terms, I can't add them. But if I were to switch these and make that a 2, and make that a 3, like the first one, I'd add my 2 and 3 and get 5, and then have ax squared b cubed for an answer. Okay? So, if I had a string of terms together, instead of just a couple, like they do in example 18.1, they have 3, let's get my pen working, 3x plus 5, minus xy plus 2yx minus 5x. Okay, so there's the expression they're giving me, and they're asking you to go ahead and add like terms. All right, so what do we have for like terms? I like to use um, little boxes and circles to, to separate them. So I have a 3x there. I look across my set of terms here to find another one with just an x. I don't care what other numbers are on it. I just want an x. There's one right there. So when I box this, I'm including the sign in front of it as well. Okay, so that's good. So now I'm going to circle with blue. I've got a plus 5. Do I have any other terms here that aren't circled or boxed that just have numbers and don't have letters? No, I don't. So that's the only one. Now I look at my minus xy and the 2yx. Do they have the same letters? No, there's an x there, there's an x there, there's a y there, there's a y there. We don't care what order they're in. They're multiplication, so it doesn't matter what order they're in. So I'm going to square this with white, and I'm going to square this with white. So I've got my reds together, 3x minus 5x. I've got my blue one, it's just a plus 5. And I've got my minus xy plus 2yx. So I've got my terms together here. So 3x minus 5x 
Remember, it's the same as 3x plus negative 5x plus 5. Okay, so 3x plus negative 5x, you take the, the signs are different, so you take the difference between the two and put the sign of the largest one on there. 5, we can't add anything to that. This right here, negative xy plus 2yx, um, I can combine those. Signs are different, plus sign, minus sign, so I'm going to take the difference between those two and put the sign of the largest one on my answer. All right, I can leave that one there, but usually you don't. So I'm going to make it negative 2x, and I'm going to put the letters kind of all together. I'm going to switch these around and put the number called a constant. It doesn't change. It's just a regular old 5. I'm going to put the number at the very end. That's usually the way you do that. All right, so let's look at example number. Um, let's look at example number 18.2. Eighteen point two says three x y plus two x y z minus ten y x minus five y z x. Okay, again, I just kind of like to circle and put a boxes around like terms. So I'm going to start with my 3xy. Square that and see if there's any other ones that have just an xy. This one right there. So I'm going to put those down here. And I'll put a plus, a negative, 10yx. Okay, now I've got this one. 2xyz, negative 5yzx. So I have the same variables. They're just in different order. And I'll just write those here, and I'm going to make it a plus negative. All right, so let's combine these. Signs are different. We take the difference between the two, but the sign of the largest one on there. Okay, look at these. Signs are different. Take the difference between the two. Put the sign of the largest on there. Okay, once I do that, I'm done. All right, let's look at example 18.3. 18.3 is 4 plus 7mxy plus 5 plus 3yxm minus 15. All right, so again, box the first one here and see if there's anything else that's similar. We have a number here and a number here. So we have three terms there that we can combine. All right, let's keep looking here. Let's do this in blue. We have a 7mxy and a 3yxm, but same letters, same variables. So those are going to be combined too. So let's do 4 plus 5 plus negative 15 because those are my first three. And then let's put 7 m x y and put it together with 3 y x m okay so let's combine those that's 9 and let's just leave that and signs are different we take the difference between the two put the sign of the largest one there and we've done that all right so now we've got a 7 plus 3 and we've taken care of all of our like terms there's nothing else to combine all right, so let's just keep going. Let's do a couple more examples, and then we will be uh, done with this lesson. So let's look at example number 18.4, where we have 3x minus x minus y plus 5, and a lot of numbers here, minus 2y minus 3x minus 10 minus 8y. Okay, so they've got a lot there to look at. So let's go ahead and box in my first term and see if there's any others that are like that. Any others with just an x and no variables. Well, there's another one right beside it with just an x. And there's one with just an x. Okay, let's do blue. Let me find a better color blue. I don't like that color. Okay, I guess this is better. 
All right, so we're going to do a circle with my negative x, or with negative y. There's a y, and there's a y. I don't care what sign it is. I just need to uh, find one with just a y and no exponent. All right, so let's do yellow for our next one. I've got a plus 5 there and a minus 10, so there's no letters with it, no variables, so I circle both of those. So let's go ahead and write things in order. We're going to put our pink boxes in, together, plus negative 3x. Um, let's do our blues. And let's do our yellows. Notice I changed everything to positives. And if there was a minus sign in front of the number, like here, minus 2y, I changed it to a plus negative 2y. Just so now all I have are plus symbols all the way across. Okay, so 3x minus x is 2x. Okay, that's an x there. So 2x plus negative 3x, signs are different. We take the difference between the two, put the sign of the largest one there. And we just got rid of all of those. Okay, let's deal with these three right there. So we have plus, we have a negative x plus a negative 2. Signs are the same, so we add them up. A 1 plus 2 is 3. And then we still have this one here. Okay. All right, and then we've still got our number over here. Might as well just tag it on so I don't forget it later. Okay, so let's look at this. So negative 1x or negative x, I'm gonna add these here. Signs are the same, so we add them. 11y, put the sign on our answer. And now we've got 5 plus negative 10. Signs are different. We take the difference between the two, put the sign of the largest one on there. And at this point, for um, which one was this again? This was 18.2. So at that point, we are done. Okay, so let's do one more. 18.5, and we'll call it a day. All right, 18.5 says we have negative 3. We are adding x, m, y, subtracting y, subtracting 5, adding 8, y, m, x, minus 3, y, minus 14. So we've got a lot we're going to combine. Put a box around the first one. Any other numbers without letters? There's one there, and there's one there. Now, you guys may think this is a waste of time putting boxes around them, but I don't know how many times I have done it, and I've seen other students do it to where they um, forget a number here and there. Okay, so let's continue to box things in here. I have a plus XMY. Anything else with an XMY over here? Okay, and then I've got, let's see. Um, oh, there's a negative Y. And a negative 3Y. Well done, it looks like it. So let's put them together. Negative 3 plus the negative 5 plus the negative 14. Take care of that, that, and that. Then I have the plus x, m, y, plus 8, y, m, x. So that takes care of that and that. And then I've got plus negative y, plus negative, negative 3y. All right, so let's combine. Let's combine these. Signs are the same, so I add them, put the sign on there. Oh, why am I 
proteins aren't showing up very well. Okay, signs are the same. I add them together. Sign on there. Takes care of that. So I just got all that taken care of. Minus 22. Alright, so let's look at this one and this one. Added together gives me 9. That gets rid of that and gets rid of that. Now I have a negative y plus a negative 3y. Signs are the same. So I add them up, 3 plus 1 is 4, put the sign on there, and when I have a y there. So I have negative 22 plus 9xmy minus 4y. Now the book has them arranged a little bit different. They have, the, they have it as myx instead of xym. It doesn't really matter what order you're putting them in in this case. It's just being able to um, combine like terms. So that's it for 18. Lesson 18.